Hey guys, um, it's me, Mr. 250, and thought I'd give you a little out-of-the-ordinary intro for today. Um, so I was doing a little bit of exploring, and uh, I just happened to run across something that I haven't seen before. Um, so I'm going through the nice little valley full of uh, noisy sheep and cows, and then I see a desert, and I, I was thinking, oh, I wonder if this is a new desert. And so I just went idly along, totally not knowing anything, and all of a sudden, I stopped. What was that, I wonder? Is that a house? It's like one of those weird desert houses? And what about this? This looks like a desert house, too. And I was wondering, maybe they didn't render right, so... Is this a... Oh, this isn't a house. I didn't eat the food then, but I'm hungry right now. So I cautiously drop in like a ninja. And what do I find? Why, indeed, it is what you were thinking. This is actually like an underground buried um, desert temple thing. Or whatever, whatever they're called in game. I can't remember what they're called. But it's one of those desert thingies. So let's drop in here. And uh, this is a normal desert temple thing. With the exception that it is underground, which I thought that was super cool. Because I, I haven't ever seen one of these underground ones. And to my understanding, they're not supposed to go underground. <laughs> may be mistaken, but I believe that's what the correct way of it is. I have not even checked anything in here, so let's first disable this and see what we got. Emerald bone, zombie bone, diamonds, gold bone, rotten flesh, and gold iron, rotten flesh, and bones. And then, of course, we get a little side benefit of a bunch of TNT. So let's nab all that up. Cool. Alright. Anyway, back to your regular programming. Alright, guys. We're back again. Um, so I've... Well, here, hold on. Give me a second. There we go. Ow. Um, so today's episode's gonna be a little bit... Um, more chopped up than usual. Uh, I didn't really... I didn't really have a whole lot of, like, definite things going on. I had a lot of smaller things, so that's probably what we're going to go over. Um, I'm going to show you a few things. The first thing I want to deal with is these cows. I've been breeding them and breeding them and breeding them. And uh, if you look at my entity counter, ooh, it lags when I do that. I've got about 230 animals over here, and I've been saving them to kill on camera to show my brutality. So here we go. Wow, it's so much noise you can't even hear them make their moo sounds when they die. All that, like, shuffling of their feet. Oh my gosh, this is brutal. Look at that, we got cooked pork everywhere. Some of it's cooked and some of it's raw. If they die by fire, then it'll be, um, it'll be cooked, and if they die just by, um, the attack itself... Or, yeah, yeah, just by a solid attack, it should be raw, so I think I'm going to get a good mix of it. And I want to clear these guys out till maybe I have 20 or 30. Like, <laughs> they're really, really laggy, but I haven't recorded for a little while. Oh, wow, I've actually gone hungry. Wow. Okay, back to the killing. There's been so many I can't even see how many chickens I have in here anymore. It's ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, this is a looting and a fire sword, so I should be getting lots of goodies out of this. Um, yeah, I think... I think that's good. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, got... 
at least a stack of steak and then tons and tons of raw beef and leather, so plenty and plenty of books are going to be coming my way. Oh, and I think in the, um, in the new update there's supposed to be, I believe it's, uh, uh, what are they called? Um, you can make colored leather armor, which I might make a permanent switch over to if I could get some really cool colors out of that. <laughs> I'm so excited for this new update. Wow, I've actually gotten a bit too much. Um, oh, these are just normal power bows. Let's drop them and pick up anything else we might have left on the ground. <clears throat> okay. We'll go throw our spoils in our chest, and then I'll show you the next thing I've been working on. Which, uh, I've just, you know, expanded a few more chests out, um, filling with all sorts of lovely items. Um, and I've been trying to, you know, consolidate some of my items together, but sometimes I just don't have enough room and I gotta put things elsewhere. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, here, zombie. Where are you at, zombie? Here, are you breaking through doors. Ah, right here. Ah, oh, you killed him. Brutal. That's fine, we got tons of them. Um, that thing's still making a few more in there. Um, I'm really looking for a librarian so I can sell some paper, which um, I'll explain in a little bit. Um... Let's go on to my next project. This is a very simple project, but I figured you guys want to be around. So, um, as you can see, I've got lots and lots of cocoa beans, and I really don't need all of them. So, I had an idea where I could just get rid of a bunch of these. And, because I don't need this many, and I've already, you know, there's... It's just all sorts of stuff I don't need in here, so we'll clean this up. I can spin this on something else, maybe more, like growing more pumpkins or something like that. I don't know. But what I was going to do was, I was going to embed in this wall here, just like a solid wall. Like it won't be four-sided, it'll just be a solid wall of um, jungle wood. Which, so it won't be as efficient as it was before, but it'll still work well. And we'll get still too many of these, but they'll be flush against the wall, so it'll be a little bit out of our way. I want to just trying to grab all these pumpkins. You'll see why in a minute. Well, you'll see two reasons. <laughs> Uh, I've been I've been doing a lot of work, and I'm sorry for not including you all in it. I've just been so busy, and it's a lot of small things. Lots and lots of small things. I think I need more jungle wood, too. And I, I like doing this crisscross pattern. Um, if you don't like it, sorry, but I think it looks pretty cool. Oh. Nope. Cross... And, oh wow, that one already grew. You see how fast these things grow? And I don't even use them, almost. It's ridiculous. There's like not many uses for them. And I should have enough to put a little more. I'll get some more jungle wood and I'll finish this up. But you can see from just this alone what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, there we go. And this wall will just be covered in them, and then when I'm ready to pluck one off, like this one for example, just hit it. Uh, they might get stuck, but like I said, <laughs> I've got too many. Um, okay, next project. Um, so, if you remember, I have like way, way, way too many problems with mobs coming in and attacking, and... Not quite enough solutions, or mainly solutions that decide to go take a bath and never come out. So, I'm going to put these around. I said I would make them into sniper towers, but 
I don't know, I don't feel like doing that. I feel like this could be like another little adventurer in our place and they'll make the whole place into a lovely winter wonderland and mess up all my reeds, but that's okay because our next little project is up here. Um, still need to make a tree farm and I haven't done anything with this. I apologize. I've been busy doing lots of small tasks, like small things that I can do, you know, with just 30 minutes of time or 20 minutes of time and it's right in here. Yes, it's a reed farm. And not only that, it's a very large reed farm. So, I'm guesstimating I could get maybe 15 to 20 stacks of reeds apiece out of this. And the reason why I've been doing this is because um, one of the trade options with the librarian is for paper. And paper's pretty easy trade to make. Like a lot of the other ones you kind of got to farm for items or you got to trade valuable items. Paper costs almost nothing to make. So, um, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> I mean, I, I did a bit of digging out of here, wore out to just unmodified efficiency diamond picks. And I've got tons of reeds. So, um, that's that. Um, not much else to say about that. <clears throat> you saw the little thing I found while exploring. Um, I've, I've been really, you know, tight on time, or not so much tight on time, but I've had, like, only short little bits of time I've been able to spend. Um, since I have a little more time, though, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Um... Oh yeah, okay, so a while back I said that I was going to, um, well, I don't know actually if I said this. Anyway, I want to make a, um, an elevator for, like, one of those piston elevators for getting up to our little farm up there, and that'll be done soon, but what I want to ask about is, um, does that look good? <laughs> Because I've been really curious. I know these look really good sometimes. So, I was wondering, what do you think about that? I kind of like it. And if you like it, um, then I'll keep it. And if you don't, I can do something else. But I think that looks kind of cool. And I'll be putting more of these out once I extend the road some more. Um, like I said, one will be going this way, through here, over here, and another path will go through here. Keep in mind, these trees will be gone. And we've right through here and I'll lower this ground a good bit and go down and we'll do that on camera it's just you know not yet oh the farm looks so sad now ah that's fine um villagers are working nicely I'm you know letting them out as they become more and more of them so that's good um Let's see, what else? There was one other thing I wanted to say. Um, I've been wanting to do something up here. Oh, in case I didn't say it, um, which I probably didn't, I replaced all of the ledge here with uh, half slabs because I was having really bad problems with these guys getting stuck and not being able to get them out. So that's a good solution. Um, I've been wanting to s either on this side over here or this side put something into the wall I'm not sure what. If you can think of an idea, I'd love to hear it, because I think something would look good. I just don't know what. Maybe like a welcoming center of some sort. So anyway, just uh, give me an idea. I'd love to hear it. Um, this side, not so much, although I could do a little bit with it, just because it's not as thick over here. I can't work with as much space. Um, let's see. Anything else I can add to the long list of rambling I'm doing? Um, I just started my new LP uh, not too long ago, Mirror's Edge. Um, hope you guys are enjoying it. Ah, you ripped off my door. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I'm having fun with it, and I'm hoping that you guys are too. Um, I'm having some a few recording issues with it, but it, they're not unmanageable. They're just annoying. So, 
you know, it's a, it's a little odd to work with, but it's still coming through just fine. And I will be adding more of these lovely snow golems. Um, can they, can they be in water? I can't remember. Oh no. Whoops. Hmm. Will they stay away from water naturally? I'm thinking no. We might just have to keep putting them out here. <laughs> or maybe that's just a bad idea altogether. Whatever. We'll work with it. Um. Yeah, not much else for the video. Um. I'll work on this museum as I get more time and as I get inspiration because I don't know quite what to do with it. It's annoying, to say the least. It's, it's an odd shape and I'm not used to working with it. So, there's that. Um, I'll be making a piston elevator soon, which might be my next project because, ooh, it's a, um, a librarian. You're going to give me paper. Um, <laughs> Um, I want to build a piston elevator up here soon, which is something I will be doing. Because I feel inspired to do that. And, all in all, um, more building types. I, I need more building types to think of. Um, I might be doing a Google search soon just for some cool Minecraft style buildings I can put in. But otherwise, I have no idea. Um... I did want to point out, I was just surveying the land a little earlier, a little before this video. Over here is the tallest area, I believe, around the area, like that overhangs our village, so up here is another prime real estate spot for something that overlooks the village, and it could be a really cool thing, or maybe even having it hang on here, like something that's hanging into the wall. Really cool idea. Um, but other than that, that's about all I got to say for today, so thank you for watching this odd myriad of things. I've been holding off on a lot of them, you know, doing a lot of things to show you, but some of them, you know, were just a little too boring and dull to show off, and some of them were just a bit hectic, like our little animal farm over here, but we did get lots of delicious food. And, yeah, I think that's all I got to say for today. Um, as always, thank you for watching. And, I don't know, maybe uh, more exciting things are on the way. Um, if I can think of anything. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye.